Hello everyone, this is Bonnie and today's story is Cinderella's sister and the big bad wolf. Here is Cinderella. Here is her stepmother, Mrs. Ugly. Here are the ugly sisters. One, two, and three. You already uh, you already know the two ugly sisters, who were horrid, nasty, and mean, but dirty. Their little sister was nice. While Cinderella laid about and did absolutely nothing, Dirty watered the pumpkins, took care of the mice, and did all the housework. Nice shone from Dirty's face, and her smile was brighter than sunshine. Well, of course, the ugly family despaired. They were ashamed. They, hi they hid their dirty away. And they never let her go anywhere with them. Then, one morning, a special invitation, invitation arrived. Oh, look, said Mrs. Ugly. We are invited to a grand ball at the palace tonight. A ball, said Georgie. Oh, please, can I go? You, said Mrs. Ugly. Go to the ball? Who believed that your ugly sister? You don't walk. Ugly, you don't talk ugly, and with that shocking smile on your face, you don't even look ugly. But I'm a ugly sister, dirty bad, and I can be bad. I know I can. Well, okay, said Mrs. Ugly. But you'll need lessons. A visit. To the wicked queen, you do the trick. So that afternoon, Georgie was sent to the wicked queen, who was just about to visit Snow White with a poison apple. The wicked queen dressed up as a little old lady. Hello, my dear, she said to Snow White. Won't you take a bite of this lovely apple? But Dirty couldn't bear to watch. Look out, Snow White, she shouted. That's a wicked queen! And that... Apple is poison. No thanks, Dan," said Snow White, and shut the and she shut the door. Well, the wicked queen was furious, and she sent Shorty home faster than a strike strike lightning. Back at home, Mrs. Ugly was very angry, but Shorty begged for another chance to be mean and bad. Oh, um, all right," said Mrs. Ugly. "But this time you're going to see the worst witch of all." Helping, being bad is easy," said the worst witch. "Let me show you how." Handel Gretel, come in, children. The open. Nice and hot, and I'm planning a delicious dinner. Dirty tried hard to be bad, really she did, but she just couldn't keep quiet. Don't come in! Don't come in! She blurted. That delicious 
dinner is you. Oh, in that case, we'll be off, said Pinter and Greta. Well, just take some snacks with us. By tea time, Jordy was back home again. But now, Mrs. Ugly was furious. Oh, please, wear dirty rail. Please let me go to the ball. I can be mean and bad. I know I can. And she cried so much that in the end, Mrs. Ugly agreed to give her one last chance. But this time, Jordy was sent to the Meanest and nattiest bad, baddy of all. The wolf. And the wolf was wearing a frog. So you wanna be ugly, huh? Said the wolf. You wanna be bad? Oh, I do, said Jersey. I do, I do. Well, said the wolf. You're just in time. Watch this. Suddenly, there was a knock, knock, knock on the door. And uh, a and little red riding hood skipped in. Ah, Grandma, said little red riding hood. What big eyes you got. Aren't the better to see you with the door? Oh, Grandma, said little red riding hood. What big ears you got? Or the bear to hear you with, said the wolf. Oh, Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. What a big teeth. Stop, Jordy shouted. That's not your grandma, Dad. Oh. The wolf. And the re Little Red Riding Hood scared Scarper, scarper. All right. The wolf turned to Jordy and drooled. Please don't eat me, said Jordy. I tried to so hard to be mean and bad. I'm. I only wanted to go to the boar and boar. Said the wolf. Did you just say boar? Oh, I have always wanted to go to a ball. Come on, said Jordy. Let's see what we can do. But, uh, but by the time Jordy and the wolf arrived home, Miss as ugly and the two ugly sisters had already left for the ball. All was quiet. We are too late. Cried Dorothy. When she, when who should appear by the beautiful fairy? I'm your fairy grandmother, said the fairy. She looked at Dorothy and the wolf. I expect, expect you to want to go to the ball, don't you? Stop! Shout an angry voice. Step away from that wand right now. It was Cinderella. And if anyone had been mean and bad, it was her. What about me? She screeched. I've been waiting all night for a grand fairy, gra fairy godmother. And who is that wolf in that ridiculous dress? Well, fairy grand. Fairy Godmother, do not like bad manners. How dare you be so rude, she said, and she quickly turned Cinderella into a mouse. <laughs> but Jordi and the wolf to the, went to the ball in beautiful new dresses, and a lovely time they had too. This is wolf, this is Jordi. Bad Queen, mm, Snow White, Ugly, the Worst, mm, Worst Witch, this is Little Red Riding Hood, Angel and Gretel, this is Puss in Boots, this is Cinderella.
so lovely. In fact, the dirty and pretty charming fell in love and married so married soon after. As as for Mrs. Ugly and Dirty, two ugly sisters. Well, no one quite knows why, but they were never ever seen again. Wow. The end. Thank you for listening. See you next time. Bye bye.